Hey guys, it is Laura here. Um, I know it's been quite some time since I made a video. I think it's going on four months now, around there. Um, let's just say life has been just extremely, extremely busy. Um, things changed a lot back in August, the beginning of August. Um, I got a second job, um, so between the two, my first job is a retail job. Um, I cut that down to two days a week. Um, I'm still doing that. I didn't want to quit just because, I mean, it's it's extra income. Um, pretty much everything I make there we put directly into savings, which is a good thing. I've been wanting to build that up for quite some time, and we just haven't had the means to do so, but now we do. So that's what we've been doing, um, and then I got a bookkeeping job actually at my husband's job where he works, um, so I'm doing that, and that's fun. I like it, um, and that's anywhere from 30 up to 40 hours a week plus the other job, so I can work anywhere from 40 hours up to almost 50 in one week, so I've been extremely, extremely busy doing that. Um, I feel like as soon as I get home, I have to start winding down and go to bed shortly after because I have to be up at, let's see, 5.30 in the morning, Tuesday through Friday, and then Monday mornings I have to be up at 4.30 because I have to be to work by 7. So, yes, I've been very, very busy. Um, there have also been some personal things going on. Um, like with my mom, she's had, um, her health deteriorate on her. Um, we've known for some years that she hasn't been doing very well. Um, she is diabetic. She's known for, oh gosh, probably since I was a little girl, probably two or three years old. So she's known 25 plus years. And she just has not taken care of herself over the years and it's just progressively gotten worse and worse and worse. About five or six years ago she had to have two toes amputated. She almost lost a leg. Luckily her doctor was amazing and saved it and she only lost two toes from that. Um, she is currently doing dialysis three times a day. Um, morning, afternoon, and night. She does it from home, which is a good thing, so she doesn't have to trek back and forth to the hospital. Um, she is in stage four renal failure, which, if you don't know what that is, that is stage, it's the final stage of kidney failure. And that is due to being diabetic and not caring for herself over the years. And I think I've mentioned it before in other videos, but seeing her and her health and the way it is and how bad it's gotten, that is my number one motivation to get this weight off. I do not want to end up like that. I want to live a long, healthy life with my husband and future kids and dogs and all that. And just seeing her quality of life right now, it's, it's not the greatest. It's honestly not. Um... So that's one of the numerous things that have been going on. So we're dealing with that day by day. Um, she is on the kidney transplant list. Um, but her doctor also told her that if she doesn't get some of her weight off, he won't do a kidney transplant. So even if she were to get a, a, a kidney, if she doesn't lose weight, she's not going to get it. So, And she's also going to be on dialysis for the rest of her life until she gets that kidney. So, that's not so great. Um, she is taking it day by day. We're all taking it day by day. She just started it, um, I think, last week. Um, we've been trying to help her out as much as possible. I mean, my dad, he works 40 plus hours a week. I'm working almost 50 hours a week. My sister, she's in nursing school. My brother, he has a full-time job. So, we try to get over there as much as we possibly can, but just with our schedules, it is extremely, extremely hard. Um, but of course, any little time, if I can get over there, like I was over there last Saturday, all day with her, and I mean, any any moment I can spend with her, I do, because I mean, honestly, we don't know how much longer she's going to be here. It could be a year, it could be 10 years, honestly, we don't know. Um, 
just with her health and I mean people it is very possible to die on dialysis and just thinking about that scares me to death um never in a million years I mean my mom she's not even 60 years old yet she's 59 she'll be 60 next year and just seeing the way her health is it's scary and honestly it could have been 100% per 100% pre preventable and she just chose not to care what she ate you know I mean honestly now she still doesn't she still eats out a lot and we've been getting on her about that and I've been trying to show her healthy recipes and just try to help her you know start to get some of that weight off needless to say she's not as heavy as I am but she's also a lot shorter because I am almost 5'10 and she's barely five feet tall and I'm not sure what her weight is but I'm pretty sure it's over 200 probably between 2 and 250 probably closer to 250 and for her height and being that size it's, it's just it's not good not good at all um let's see um okay I guess I'll talk about me now um I have been maintaining for it seems like forever honestly um I think since June I want to say maybe July I've pretty much been the same and honestly from my lowest which was 324.8 I think eight, I'm up about 10 pounds which is unfortunate and but I've been steady at that plus 10 for months now and I mean, I'll go, I'll go down about five, then up about five, and down, just back and forth and back and forth. I thank God that it has not skyrocketed, you know, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 plus pounds. Um, I am still exercising, not as much as I need to be. Um, I am going to the gym as much as I possibly can. But with this new schedule and everything, it's really, really difficult. And I know it's it's not an excuse. I, I need to make time. And I'm going to work out as soon as I get done with this video. Um, I just, I can't work out on Tuesdays and Thursdays because that's the days I work two jobs. And I'm gone literally from 6 o'clock in the morning until almost 8 o'clock at night. So I go to work when the sun is down and I go home when the sun is down. So Tuesdays and Thursdays I cannot work out. However, the other days, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday, I have no excuse um, but this past week um, my birthday was last Monday so I did slack last week I will admit it um, so I didn't go I, I worked out last Saturday so a week ago this past Saturday we were actually down in um, Evansville for a show my husband and I it was actually was his birthday present his birthday was back in June and we were down there and I worked out at the gym there at the hotel, which was amazing. Oh my god. It was amazing. <laughs> um, so yeah, that was the last time I worked out. It's sad to say. But I am getting back at it. Um, I am watching my portion sizes. Um, seriously, I know that has been my biggest, biggest problem. And it has been why I've been maintain maintaining is because I've just been eating too much too many calories um, my portion sizes have been just too big and consciously I know or I guess subconsciously I know um, that I don't need to be eating that much but for some reason I in my mind I'm like oh well this will be my, my only meal for today or one of two meals it can be a little bit larger and I just I rationalize it in my mind even though I in the back of my mind I know it's too much and I know I shouldn't be eating it but I do because I just I talk myself into it basically and I know that's not good and that's just been the biggest problem with me I mean I'll go an entire week work out you know eat good all week and I'm I lose five six pounds and the weekend comes and then I start doing, you know, the rationalizing my mind like, oh, if I have this, I'll just work out tomorrow and blah, blah, blah. And then it just skyrockets from there. 
So, last time I weighed myself, excuse me, which was a couple days ago, I think. Honestly, I don't remember. It I was within the past week, I know that. Um, I was at 3, I think 33. So, technically from my lowest, I'm up about 9 pounds. Which, not happy with. But, it is what it is. I am sticking to my guns. I am going to work out. I am going to watch my portions. I tried the calorie counting. Um, I just, honestly, it's... I just, I, for some reason, I just, I cannot stick with it. As hard as I try, I cannot stick with it. So, for me, I'm just trying to incorporate more vegetables and just eat smaller, smaller meals, basically. So, that's what I've been doing. Um, let's see, I've been keeping up my water, which was amazing. Today, from, I had my lunch about 1130 and then from about noon until I left work at 3, I kid you not, I had like 7 bottles of water. 6 or 7 bottles of water. So I was going to the bathroom like every 45 minutes it seemed like. <laughs> because I was drinking so much water. Which is a good thing. Um, let's see. My clothes are fitting amazing. Uh, when I went to get my birthday outfit back at the beginning of October. Well, more like, well, no. My birthday was October 13th. I went the week before, so around the 7th, I think, to get an outfit. And I got a size 22 pair of jeans, which are honestly too big. <laughs> and they're torrid, and honestly torrid always has run um, small on me. So I don't know, maybe it's just the style of pant that I got. Um, but I wear them, I wore them once for the concert last week. And then I wore them the follow a few days later. I washed them and everything, and they were they were huge. Um, so then I started I because I almost always hang my pants up, so I don't I don't like drying them because they just they shrink up and they become high waters on me because I'm so tall. <laughs> um, so I hung them up that time and they were huge. And I mean honestly, that could have been it. It could have been because I didn't dry them because I wore them today after they had been dried and they. I mean, after a few hours, they were really loose, but they weren't as loose as they were the last time I wore them. So, it could have been that because I didn't dry them, but still, the fact that I'm in a 22 now, and they're big, is amazing. I have not been that size since about 2007. And even then, that was only for about six months that I was that size before I started gaining again. So, it's nice to be back to that size. I definitely want to surpass that as soon as possible. Um, I'm going to be getting a, probably a size 18, 20 um, to just kind of something to work towards. Um, I noticed last time I did that with my size 24 pants, which are huge on me now, it seemed like it just it kept me motivated more just to have that pair of pants to physically try on each day to see, you know... I just, I need something to see, to physically see, and to touch, and to put on, and see how it's fitting, and all that. So I'm going to be doing that shortly, probably this week or next week, getting a smaller size, just for my motivation pants, basically. And to get down to a 20 <laughs> is extreme for me. I have not been, I don't think I've ever been a 20, honestly, um, probably since 5th, 6th, 7th grade, maybe, so... I've always been at least, at least 20, 22, 24, as long as I can remember. So to get under that is amazing. Um, let's see. I think that is it for now. Um, I know this video, oh my god, almost 15 minutes. Um, I had a lot to update on. Um, yeah, I guess that's it for now. I hope everybody is having a fantastic week. Um, I hope everybody's staying on track. If they've fallen off track, you know, it's always a new day. There's always time to start, to restart, do what you have to do to get the weight off and get healthy. Um, every, I know, I know you guys can do it. I just, I know it. <laughs> um, I'm not giving up by any means. Um, there's, like I said, there's always a new day. If you mess up one day, if you have a binge, multiple binges, there's always a new day to start. 
and just getting back on track and you know just pumping it out day after day it, it can be done it will be done <laughs> i hope everybody has a great week i'll see you later bye